Hello everyone, my name is Arm47, and in this video, I'm going to be going over basically polypropylene dishes versus uh, disposable ones, the pros and the cons. Uh, I'll start with the pros for this one. The pros, you can reuse them, and you don't got to throw them away, so you're not really, <clears throat> how you say it, uh, making more plastic waste, uh, as opposed to this one, you, you got to throw them out, you got to toss them out after you use it, you can't reuse it because they're the material they're made out of. Now this one, the way to reuse it, let's say you're done, just empty out your agar, the dish. Well, I, what I do is I spray it down with rubbing alcohol, then I wipe it down, then I wrap it in tin foil. The upside to using these is that they're cheaper and you get a lot of them online. I get think you can buy like a $500 box for like a really cheap price as opposed to these. But the thing is you're going to have these for life forever. And then they also make the glass ones. I mean, I've been looking into those, but those glass tends to break but although it'll be a cleaner product at the end of the day basically you'll be able to see as you guys can see the mycelium and then right here you, you you can see it but it's not as clear as day as this one right here all right so right now i'm gonna show you guys how i uh like not prepare um basically clean them and reuse them all right so here with me i had some dishes that basically were done or i had contaminants inside of them so what I do is I get a spray bottle, and I just go and spray all around my dishes. And now as you guys can see, hang on, the, the Sharpie or whatever, the permanent marker, if you spray it with alcohol, it goes away. If you guys can see, it's time to smear off. Hang on, let me get a good angle. So what I do is I grab a shirt or like a rag or something and then you just wipe it down there you go so basically you want to go all get all your jars and then wipe them down with alcohol or clean them off and shit whoops and then from there we'll just get some tin foil we'll wrap them up throw them in the pressure cooker sterilize them with your agar your grains whatever it may be that you're pressure sterilizing as far as time you can pressure, we're not sterilizing grain, so 30 minutes along with your agar should be fine because we're just basically sterilizing the the material, not a whole, like a whole quart jar of grain that, that would take an hour and a half to fully sterilize. Alright guys, I'll be back once I have these, or I'll wrap them up in tin foil for you guys after I clean them all out with the rubbing alcohol and the, and the rag. Alright, so I got my dishes all nice and cleaned up. Now we don't need to be working in front of the flow hood, I'm just here because it, it provides a good angle for the video and everything. All right, so the next step, hang on, give me a second, let me grab my, my tin foil. Let's grab some tin foil, aluminum, heavy duty preferred. If you don't have heavy duty, that's fine. All right, so as you can see, I got a nice big chunk. Now what I do, I put it in here, like kind of like that, and then I just fold it over. Like that, pull it off. It's kind of hard to see how I get a good angle of it, but you want something like this with, around, so like that, to prevent the moisture from getting in the in the, the plates while you're pressure sterilizing them. So you wrap them up like that in tin foil, toss them in the pressure cooker for like 30 minutes. When you cook it with your agar, as you guys see, I got my media bottle right here. All right, so I'm gonna basically I'm gonna cook up some agar. I have a video on that, so I'm not going to be showing it on video. And um, I'm going to pressure cook and I'm going to sterilize them. And then I'm going to take them out the PC. And then from there, we'll, 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 I'll do a pour up session for you guys just, just because I love you guys. Alright, so we're out here in the pressure cooker. And then as you see, we have all the. Wait, what did I say? I said we're out here in the pressure cooker. What I meant to say was that we got all the, the tin foil covered plates in the pressure cooker outside now i'm gonna go get some agar i'm gonna put it right there in the middle all right i usually keep them in this box so i'm gonna keep this box in here all right guys i'll be right back once i get the agar in here and then we're gonna put the lid on it pressure sterilize it or actually i'll be back once the pressure sterilizing times is done and you'll see me in front of my flow hood all right so we're here i got all my dishes and still inside the tin foil and i got my agar stirring up if you're wondering what that noise was Alright, so from here, uh, you the flow hood doesn't need to be on, what's it called, 
in order for you to take off, remove the tin foil. You can take it off without the flow hood being on. Just don't remove the lid and expose the inside of it. Then the ster sterility goes out the window, as they say. But yeah, I'm going to remove the tin foil and then come back and pour up for you guys. And that'll be the video. Alright, we're here in front of the flow hood. Let me get a good angle. Uh, that's about as much as I could fit in there. Hang on, there you go. Is that angle better? Yeah, it's a good angle, right? So my hands aren't blocking anything. Alright, so well, what I'm going to do, and since I don't have one of those fancy guns that tell you the, the, the temperature of the agar, what I do is I just put on an oven mitt and uh, basically just start pouring up. So from here, I'm going to fast forward it. Hey, hey, uh, and just between me and you guys, I'm a pretty good, I'm a fast pour. I got the fastest pour in the West. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding about that one. Uh, I'll pour up right now for you guys. Alright everyone, so we're basically done pouring up and there's leftover agar around 200 milliliters. That's going to go bad and going to go to waste unfortunately. It's kind of sad, yes I know, but it is what it is. Alright, so from here, if, uh, if I had more dishes then yeah, it wouldn't go to waste. But uh, that, that'll be the end of the video guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed on how to reuse your dishes. I mean, if you want to go ahead and use the disposable ones, the plastic ones like this, and go ahead, feel free. I mean, these are convenient for when you're trading with your friends and you, you don't want to send them out your reusable dish. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And also, uh, I know I said it in another video, but this is a cork board. Everyone, every single question I get, it's, hey, what's that tool called? What's that tool called? I made a video about it on YouTube. I'm not mad, but it's like I'm going to get that question for like the rest of my life or something. So, alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Love yourself, love your friends, and love your family. I'll see you guys in the next one.